If you look, the American Psychological Association still admits there is no scientific consensus as to exactly why a particular person becomes gay or lesbian. Many things have been studied, social, cultural, environmental influences, psychology, genetics, all these things have been studied, but no one factor has emerged that allows scientists to say definitively why any one person develops that kind of attraction. So right there, that's a big, that's a huge admission because in all their policy statements and everything, they act as if it's genetically hardwired, you know? I think there are any number of ways in to homosexual uh, orientation and there are many ways out. That's what I think is the closest thing to the truth. When they're talking about people are born gay, they want it to be a genetic hardwire. They're they're not going to give any quarter on uh, this this multi-causal kind of thing because that could mean then that you do have some decisions to make. You know, you have some feelings, you have a set of feelings that for whatever reason come upon you. Now you have a decision to make about what importance you're going to assign to those feelings and whether you're going to act on those feelings and what meaning you assign to it. All of that, those are all decisions that you're making. And that is precisely what the activists don't want you thinking about. And I think the freedom to be able to live your life like that, that's the beauty of living in a world, even from a Christian perspective, God allows us to make those choices. If you want to be a, you know, whatever you believe your gender is, you have that right to do that. And I think that we should have that right to do that. Doesn't mean it's right. But, but forcing people to believe that way or forcing them into your narrative, that is where I think the, 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 the line needs to be drawn and said, I don't want to live my life like that, so I should not be forced into your way of thinking, which is precisely the argument that they're calling Christianity and everything else to say, you're forcing us to believe like you. I, I, I don't necessarily think that that's okay either. I don't think you should force people to, to believe one way or the other. It's a choice and I appreciate the choice and be allowed to live in a world where you can choose that if you so choose. Well, do you know, the, there's a theological version of what you're saying. Because St. Augustine once said that the God who created you without your, without your consent will not save you without your help. You know, that he, God wants, God wants our freedom, you know, and this is like the deep mystery of, uh, of Christianity, I think. God wants us to choose him. He wants us to choose the good. He allows us to choose wrongly. And that's awesome. Really, I mean, literally awesome, right? That God allows us to do that. It's, it's kind of amazing, really.